Hey guys, okay, coming to you fresh face. I have no product on my face except maybe like leftover makeup I didn't catch from cleaning before. And um, I just wanted to talk about some of the products that I got from Beauty Counter. Um, I got a Routine Clean Cream Cleanser, which is part of their Essentials collection, and a Beauty Counter Counter Time collection, an Uplifting Day Cream. So zoom in. I went with one of my friends to go um, take a look at these products at one of her friend's houses and so that's how I got familiar with the, the skincare line and they also have a makeup line. And so I started using this stuff for about a week now. I just got it about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. So I just wanted to use it a little bit before I did this video reviewing it. And another tool I'm going to show that I didn't get from uh, Beauty Counter is this acne free brush. Um, it's $15 at Walmart. It comes with an acne free um, soap, but because of my time spent learning about Beauty Counter, I got to learn more about the chemicals used in our makeup and in our skincare and I was told that the skin is our biggest organ so everything you put on your skin your body soaks up so any harsh chemicals you're using your skin is going to soak it in so I really wanted to get some products that were good for you and also would work and um, during my time there I got this piece of paper and this is basically like the never list this is the stuff you need to look for in the products you use to make sure that they don't have it because if they have it then chances are it's not that great for you and then I also was um, taught about this app called skin deep s-k-i-n-d-e-e-p if you want to download it uh, it's a free app and it basically you take a snapshot of the barcode and it pulls up information of like on a ranking system from one to nine nine being that it's going to kill you so all of their products are either a one and two on that app and they're like full disclosure that's like their whole purpose is to be full disclosure to the consumer to let you know what we're giving you is safe that's like what they stand by and I mean the product is not cheap it's, I, I mean, I'm just going to make it clear. It is not cheap. If you are on a budget, then maybe getting the entire set can be a little overwhelming. So maybe get a few things and try it out and see how you like it before you invest all your money into it. Because the uh, cream cleanser is $24 and this is the, uh, the essentials is their cheaper line. The counter time line is their like fancy schmancy line, but... And I, I actually really like it. This uplifting day cream was $70. So right here, these two products with shipping cost me like $106. But the beautiful thing about it is that you use very little and it goes a long way. So, I mean, it could last me six months or probably even more than that uh the expiration so right here if you never learned about it right here that stands for how many months the product is good for before either one it expires or it's not as beneficial to you so both of these have a one year life and also um to touch base on the form i just want to read out some things that you need to look for in your uh, shampoos and your skincare and your beauty product things such as parabens and I'm sure you probably have heard of the words before seen things no parabens included um, just to actually let you know what a paraben is because I always knew it was a bad thing I just didn't know what it was let's see a paraben is a preservative that can disrupt hormones and have been found in breast cancer tumors found in all types of cosmetics that's crazy to think that the stuff that you're putting on your skin could eventually lead up and become breast cancer. That's that's insane. Okay, some other stuff. Okay, synthetic flavor or fragrance. An engineered scent or flavoring agent that may contain any combination of 3,000 plus stock chemical ingredients, including hormone disrupt 
disruptors and allergens. Fragrance formulas are protected under federal law's classification of trade secret and therefore can remain undisclosed, found in all types of cosmetics. Isn't that insane? And I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong, but I was told that since the 1930s, the FDA has only banned 13 different ingredients, whereas in the UK, it's like thousands. Since the 1930s. So the pr products we're using, there's so many bad things in, in that that you're putting on your skin and you don't even realize. And you know, natural and good for you, they can market it to make it seem like it's like this pleasant thing. And it's, it's not, it's not at all. What else is there? Um, formaldehyde. An antiseptic preservative that is known is that is a known carcinogen that is also linked to asthma, neurotoxicity, and developmental toxic toxicity. Present where quantum quantum fifteen DM DM high de, high it's, it's all these big words. Anyways, so they're found in shampoos, body wash, bubble bath. Basically, if it's a word that you cannot pronounce, it might not that be that great for you. Mineral oil, because some products they say it has mineral oil and then they make this mineral sound like the thing. Mineral oil, also listed as liquid paraffin, liquid petroleum, par paraffin oil, a byproduct of petroleum distillation that may cause con contact dermatitis, found in baby lotions, cold cream ointments. It's in baby lotion. From the day your baby is born, you are putting harmful chemicals on them. That's insane. I don't even have kids and I know that's just insane. That's why I'm supporting this because they want to be full disclosure, but they also more than that, they want to make sure it works. So let me read off some of the stuff that's on this so you know that you can understand it. First ingredients, water, that's common. There's also lavender flower extract green tea leaf extract, uh, there's citrus, there's sweet almond oil. I mean, there's also stuff that I don't necessarily know what it is, but you can read up about it on that Skin Deep app. There's witch hazel, which is good. My, my boyfriend uses pure witch hazel to clean his skin. Okay, and let's see. On That was on the cleanser. On the, the day cream, let's see, there is grapeseed oil. There's cranberry seed oil, there's chamomile flower extract. Like these are some stuff that you actually know what you're putting on you. Okay, but enough talk, I'm just gonna do a demo of this stuff so you can see how I do it. Okay, so I have my tool. Again, it's 15 bucks. I didn't wanna spend 40 bucks for something that does the same. Rather put it in my product that I'm gonna put on my face instead of a tool. So I just turn it on and give it a good exfoliation. This is not something you do every day. I do it twice a week. You smell the citrus a little bit so you know it's working. It definitely wakes you up. Okay, I'm gonna wash off my face and then I'll come back and then put on the day cream. Okay, I'm back now. I'm going to just Tap it off the extra water. Now that I have all the oil off my face, I feel like my skin can finally breathe. Okay, so now I just put on the Uplifting Day Cream. It has flower extract, ginger root extract, vitamin C. So, just kind of show you how a little goes a long way. That little pump. That little pump, already just in my forehead and nose. Right there, my skin just feels so much better. So, I mean, go to their website, check it out. I think you can buy directly. And here's a quick screenshot of the Neverless. So try to avoid these as much as possible. And download Skin Deep. That's also a really helpful tool to show what's bad about it and why it's bad. Bye! Glammy love!